welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make a drink for get together. It's going to be watermelon and green tea aqua fresca. Now, I've already done this step. I put watermelon up to nine cups on my Ninja Blender, put a cup of filtered water in, blended it all up, then I put it through a strainer into my pitch pitcher. Me and Jamie don't mind to have the pulp in there with it, all that pulp and stuff, but I have some guests coming and they might not like that, so I went ahead and strained it. You just pour your watermelon prey through and it catches all your prey. Your watermelon prey. You keep stirring it with a spoon and all the juice comes dripping down. While I got the strainer on there, I'm going ahead and squeeze one lemon in there too. And since I'm leaving the strainer on there to catch any of the seeds. You can do lime if you don't, if you don't have lemon. See that caught any of the seeds. Now I've already put, you sweeten it to your taste. I put a fourth a cup of some Splenda. You can use honey, regular sugar, agave, whatever sweetener you want to use. Or just leave it out. <coughs> I brewed up some green tea. Put six bags of green tea in a quart mason jar. Got my water tea kettle boiling. Poured over my boiling water. And this is the tea I'm using. It's Tazo green tea and ginger. It has green tea, ginger, and a lemongrass in it. I thought that tastes yummy in this drink. But if you just want to use just right out green tea, you can. I steeped it for about three to five minutes. Took out my tea bag, squeezed all the excess out, and I let it cool so it won't bust my glass pitcher. So we're going to pour that in there. Give it a stir. We're also going to put in 10 mint leaves in here. That's totally optional to give it some flavor. I'm just stirring with just a chopstick, wooden chopstick. Make sure all the sugar and everything is stirred and dissolved. Okay, now this goes in the refrigerator and chill for at least two to four hours. I'm going to give it another stir and I'll let it chill for about a couple of hours. Now, I'm going to be pouring this over some ice and it might dilute it, you know, as your ice melts. If you don't want to go that route, then cut you up some watermelon and freeze the watermelon cube and use them as your ice cubes if you're worried about that. If, you, if you're if you worried about your flavors getting watered down from the ice. Melon. Just use the watermelon ice cube. I'm gonna pour some over. Go up halfway, a little bit more than halfway. And the reason I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pour over some lemon sparkling water for some fizz. Finish filling up the glass, and then everybody knows to do this at the party. The reason I didn't put the the your sparkling water down in here because when I put it in the refrigerator to let it chill because it leaves all its fizz. So I'm gonna do it this way. So that they still get their little fizz. I'm going to top it with some just chopped up mint. To make it look pretty and then we're going to stick a straw in it and there you have it watermelon and green tea aqua fresca my way 